What does life in paradise conditions lead to? Ethologist John Calhoun attempted to answer this question. More than half a century ago, the most famous experiment of American ethologist John Calhoun was conducted on mice. It was called Universe 25. The essence of the experiment was to create ideal conditions where mice could live and reproduce without any worries, away from predators and in the absence of epidemics and diseases. For this purpose, the scientists built a special enclosure in the laboratory at the National Institute of Mental Health. Four pairs of white mice, males and females, were placed there. The mice had access to clean water and abundant food, special nests where they could make their homes. There were enough nests in the enclosure for several thousand mice to live. The temperature in the enclosure averaged around 20 degrees Celsius and was comfortable for the mice. The animals were not subjected to any external influences and lived in ideal conditions for their pleasure. And then the most interesting part began. In the first stage of the experiment, the mice reproduced well, led an active lifestyle, and played willingly. In the next phase of the experiment, the mice started eating less, they no longer overate. In the third phase of the experiment, when there were already hundreds of mice in the enclosure, a distribution of social roles occurred, a pronounced hierarchy and clan behavior emerged. The so-called outcasts appeared, young individuals that were driven to the center of the enclosure by other adult mice, preventing them from living a normal life and causing them physical harm. In nature, this would probably be impossible because these aggressive mice would not survive to old age as predators would eat them. However, there were no predators in Calhoun's enclosure and the adult mice began to simply torment the young. Two large groups formed, solitary males and solitary females. The solitary females refused to mate and rejected the courtship of the males. The mice began to exhibit total individualism and they did not strive to create families. In the final fourth stage, the mouse population began to decline. Beautiful males emerged as Calhoun himself called them. They spent their days grooming themselves, eating and sleeping, ignoring the females. However, their interest in each other could not lead to offspring. Various forms of deviant behavior and outbreaks of aggression began to appear among the mice. The females started killing their offspring and eventually completely refused to reproduce. At the peak of the experiment, slightly over 2,000 mice lived in the enclosure. There was enough food and nests for the population to continue growing, but four years after the start of the experiment, Calhoun stopped it because there were only slightly over 100 mice left in the enclosure and all of them were already beyond reproductive age. Some argue that Calhoun's experiment showed that progress and population growth are only possible under conditions that necessitate survival and competition, while in paradise conditions, the species starts to degrade and die out. Based on the results of the experiment, Calhoun concluded that reaching a certain population density and the fulfillment of social roles in the population leads to the breakdown of society due to the emergence of a stratum of outcasts. Mice are forced to compete with older males and the society experiences the death of the spirit. The experiment has been subject to criticism, including the argument that the founders of the population were related mice, which became one of the reasons for degeneration. But regardless of this, it can make us reflect on our way of life and the challenges that are necessary for us to grow and move forward. What are your thoughts on this experiment? I encourage you to share your opinions in the comments below.